Joyce Fork, yes, the residue. Joyce Fork. I asked for that.
five dollars with the wheels instead of another. Yes. The cans probably what eighty or ninety dollars something like that. Yeah. The, well, the first one's sixty. Then it's sixty-five. Yeah. So it'd be, it'd be probably cheaper if you could sell somebody a five or ten dollars set of wheels or something. We can order replacing the wheels because right now it sounds like he's taking apart new cans to give out wheels. That's that's we've got a bunch of sixty-dollar cans we can't use. That's yeah. You can't drag them around. So I don't know why. I mean, that's something that that's another example of. Right, yeah, I just, yeah. And so, we only found this out not too long ago. So I think the first thing we should do is tell the DPW to stop cannibalizing the, 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 the new cans <laughs> and taking the wheels off. Is that, yeah, and look into getting the parts. I mean, right. Yeah, they yeah, sell the, yeah, the things replacement we're going to sell replacement uh, bars and wheels for the trim. I think we should have that on stock in case somebody put them in brakes so we can give them to repair the garbage can. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that makes, that makes, makes total sense. Ernie, on that... All you know, them uh, warnings that you're giving, don't you think we should uh, send a letter out just to send a letter out to them, not a uh, threatening one, and say, listen, the garbage days have changed since we're getting here for the people that haven't read in the paper, haven't got it anywhere else, have everyone sent to everybody's house, let them know these are what the garbage days changed, even though that everybody had a robo call, it was posted in the paper. That way you send to every resident in the town what the days are, where it all has changed, so everybody knows, instead of sending them a warning thing saying this is going to be your only warning. It's going to take time for the yes. people to get on board. It's like a habit. I'm having to take it out on Tuesday and Friday every what week. And that's what I would put it to this. Why did the mayor council send out copy to all the residents? That's what I'm just saying. And that's what I'm saying. And that way, I'm going to answer this first of all. You see, this is going to go on and on. And if I don't let them know where the borough is staying. No, no, I understand. But you gotta give them a grace period. Uh, can, can I say something, man? Sure. All right, this, this is the list. I went out yesterday also. This is the list of streets, houses uh, that there is bulk in uh, front of the houses that I saw yesterday. Uh, and I understand, you know, that you sent a uh, letter out stating that. But it's quite obvious for whatever reason, I don't, and Mark and I talked today, I, I, through no fault of the borough, I'm not trying to notify people of it. Some folks just did not get the message, whether they do the letter of the garbage or whatever, and I know it's online. But right at this time, we have, on my count, 37 houses that have bulk in front of them. 